Good morning, mathematicians. Today we're gonna to do a number string, which we've done in class before many times, but of course it'll be a little different on a computer. So what you need to have in front of you is your math notebook or a piece of paper and something to write with, like a marker or a pen. Maybe you can have like a workshop pen at home, which would be amazing. I'm just using my black Sharpie and that's fine. So I'm gonna show one problem at a time and I want you to write the problem down in your notebook or on your paper and try to write down the number that goes in the blank. Okay, so for example, if I start here, two plus two equals blank. What goes in that blank? Remember the equal sign means the same as. So two plus two is the same as what number? I'm going to give you a minute to write that down before I write the next one. All right, I wrote the answer on my paper. Let's see if you can write what 2 plus 2 is the same as on your paper and check it with mine. Are you ready to check it? There you go. I hope you wrote that too. 2 plus 2 is the same as 4. Okay, now I'm going to challenge you a little bit. What if I do this? 2 plus 2 plus 1. What if I add that third number? 2 plus 2 plus 1 is the same as what? So write that problem down. See if you can write down what number goes here. I'll write it on my paper. You can write it on yours. And I'll give you a minute and then I'm going to hold up my paper and you can check. Are you ready? The answer is five. Two plus two plus one is the same as five. These are pretty easy for you guys, aren't they? Yeah, I thought so. So this one, next one's going to be easy for you too. I think so. I'm really just warming you up for the harder stuff. Let's see if you know what this one is. Two plus three is the same as what? Hmm, I think you guys know this one is five, don't you? All right, now mathematicians, I'm wondering if anybody noticed anything because two plus two plus one is the same as five and two plus three is the same as five. I wonder why that happened. Hmm. Anybody notice anything between this problem and this problem? Hmm, let's see, two plus three, is there a three up here somewhere? Let's see, two plus two plus one, is there a three up here anywhere? Do any of these numbers make a three? Hmm, I think that some of you may have noticed that. In the problem up here, the two and the one, that's the same as three. So really we're adding two plus three and two plus three. Some of you have noticed that in class before. I hope you wrote it down so you can look at it later even. Okay, now I'm gonna write something down. Can you tell me if, it, if, you, if it's true? Oh, false. All right. Let's see what I wrote down. I wrote two plus two plus one equals two plus three. Now, who remembers what the equal sign means? It means the same as. You know that. So, is two plus two plus one the same as? Two plus three? Hmm. I wrote that first two kind of funny, didn't I? I'll fix it. I know. Somebody noticed that. Now, does it look like a two? So let's see. If I had two gummy bears plus another two gummy bears plus one gummy bear, would I have the same number of gummy bears in all if I had two gummy bears plus three gummy bears? Hmm. Like if I had two plus two plus one gummy bears in one hand, 
and I had two plus three gummy bears in the other hand. Would I have the same number of gummy bears in both hands? Well, the answer is yes. Hopefully you can figure that out. If you're not quite sure, you don't believe me? Maybe you could do something with like buttons or beads that you might have at home and you can see if you can actually prove it. Because mathematicians do like to prove their thinking. Okay, mathematicians, let's see if you remember subtraction. Hmm. Five minus one is the same as what? That minus sign means subtraction. That's like if I have five gummy bears in my hand and I eat one of them, how many will I have left in my hand? Try to write down the, what you think it is in your notebook and I'll write it down on my paper too. And then I'll hold up my paper and we can compare. Are you ready to check your answer? You can always hit pause if you're not ready because I'm gonna hold it up now. Let's see if you wrote the same number that I wrote. Five minus one is the same as four. If I eat one of those gummy bears in my hand, I'd have four left. Okay, now what if I ate, instead of eating one gummy bear, what if I ate two gummy bears? So I do five minus two, how many would I have left? How many would I have left in my hand if I ate two gummy bears? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna hold up my paper. Let's see what you wrote down. Compare your answer to my answer. If I had five gummy bears in my hand and I ate two of them, I'd have three left. Hmm. Okay, one more. Or what if I had five gummy bears in my hand, but I ate three all in one big bite? How many would I have left if I ate three of them? Hmm. I bet some of you already wrote the answer down. But oh, wait a minute, I didn't write my answer down. So I missed Stuart. All right. I had five gummy bears and I ate three of them. I would have two left in my hand. Now I'm wondering, if you look at our string and hopefully you have all this written on your paper. I'm wondering if you notice anything about the bottom two problems and maybe any of the problems up above. There is a connection here. There's something interesting happening here and I'm wondering if you notice it. So if you notice something, a connection, if you notice a connection between these bottom two problems and one of the ones up here, I want you to either write about it or I want you to take a little video of yourself maybe and or maybe you draw something on here, you take a picture of it and you put it on your seesaw page and let me know what discovery you made about this number string. Looking forward to hearing from you. Good night.